got Chris over here trying to follow us. Look at that! I don't float! Look at that! Those guys took so long and I couldn't get upset because I, I knew, and I felt bad because of the fact you guys were taking a long. You have Stop to me because I'm calling the police right now. Let's go outside. Oh. Oh. Javier. Yeah. Javier. Go away. I just wanted to get your name tag. So I'm not understanding get out of here. What I'm talking right? to you, Jack. Off. Once you get a life, man, I don't want to be recorded. Yeah. I am not your brother. You ain't seen me not calm, partner. Believe me. Calm down, down Chris. Different. Calm don't down. Tell me to calm down. You don't calm down. Life don't life. get in my space. Get back Sir, there. That is not allowed. You are Whoa. not allowed. Excuse me. Excuse me. Shout out Angry Vet Audits. Thought you never liked those guys. Or the police. Yo, body cam off so my camera stays on Crooked ass cops won't like this song Gotta film the police when they do something wrong I'ma film the police when they do something wrong Alright guys, we're at the United States Post Office out here in Seaside, California See, they got the Star Spangled Banner up there And the POW MIA flag Waving in the nice seaside breeze. Some vehicles out right here. Okay. What are you filming? What's that? What are you filming? The post office. Oh, okay. Yeah. Office symbol up there. Boxes here. Pretty small little lobby. ship something you get to have this guy throwing all your stuff like that it's a big cardboard box I guess that's part of the handling Show you if you like to see it. Yeah. I'm not making this up. What did you do? What, what, are, you, what are you filming for? I don't want to interrupt you to help you just keep recording. So he wants to go on the other one. Well, yeah, there's some guys in here. They're recording us. They're here with their camera. They're just taking my camera. Outside? How far outside do we need to go? giving you any permission to film anybody. Can I get your permission? Like a verbal permission right now? No, I don't want to give you my permission John, to film. Here, yeah. Let's go John, outside. Oh. Don't get physical, don't what get physical. For right now, just close them to the first door. Then we'll close around this time. I might want to buy a stamp right now. I'm allowed to buy a stamp. I don't want, I'm not giving you any permission to film. You don't have anybody to pr permission okay, to film. John. You John. didn't ask anybody. John, John listen. John. Back to work. John, you're locking everybody in here? What if there's a fire, John? Oh, come on, guys. Don't be ridiculous. We're being quiet. They're the ones firing you, not us. Yeah. Okay, we're being ridiculous. Excuse me, either you're here for a stand, or you're going to Just in case there's a fire. And, we'll help and now you're filming me. Where, 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 I just wanted to get your name tag. So I'm not understanding get out of here. what it is. Uh, here's one for you, Javier. It's not necessary, but Look. I can call the cops. There you go, Javier. Okay. 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 Okay.
Well, why are you talking to the guy with the camera, Javier? I'm not recording anybody else. You, you're trying to. I'm not even. She's not even on camera. It's just you, Javier. John. The customers don't want you filming. John, you're making a disturbance. Just calm down. We do have permission. You ask for anybody's permission to film. We have permission. It's on your poster seven, John. I can call the chief of police for you. I have his number on my phone. It's cell phone. Yeah. You're, you're interrupting our business. Now, please step outside. You're, you're interrupting the business, John. I'm sorry? Okay, sorry about that. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be sorry. So I'm interrupting you. So this is what they call a written recognition. Yeah. No, not at all. Javier's over here muttering to himself, stupid, and seems to have made himself a bad day. Just drop off your letter, Javier, go home. Yeah, John, you're the only one upset here. Javier, is flipping your middle finger at someone in public, isn't that more of a harassment than what I've done? Oh, well, we do have permission, John. Look at your poster seven. You want me to point it out to you? Rules and guidelines governing the post office. It's right on. It's right on there. So guys, I'm about as far back as you could get right here. I'm not disrupting anything. I'm like in the corner here. They could definitely carry on with their business operations, but uh, they chose to cause a disturbance, calling the police. Javier over here is acting like a child. Calling people names. Sir, if you want to stay so we can help you, we will help you. Although you do need to stay quiet. No, I'm allowed to speak. Yes. But you're, you're, you're escalating the situation. Ma'am, you're speaking louder than anybody else in here. You're raising your voice. Then we can go ahead and proceed and help you. Tell him not to flip us off. If you tell him not to flip us off, call us names and etc. etc. So John's asking Javier for his name and phone number. I think they want to go on a little dinner date after this. Uh, probably hold hands and reminisce about those scary cameramen. Me too. I was in line by you, but I just had to film uh, Javier there calling the cops. Yeah, we're willing to go last if you want. No, that's okay. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I guess so I'm going to buy my stamp so I can uh, get the survey and fill it out. 
These uh, staff members are being very disruptive, very rude. Little it's fire starters here. We came in very peacefully. We weren't even speaking at first, but they started getting all you know rowdy. And then, wow. yeah. so, so she be she's apologizing for her starting a situation that didn't need to be started in the first place. I did. Maybe somebody doesn't want to be recorded. You want to apologize for it? Three cameras up there. Why are you out here trying to record people? Did you ask me if they want to record it? Did you ask me if I if I need I'm talking to you, Jack Off. What you get a life, man? I don't want to be recorded. I have a right to privacy. Who the hell are you? Well, she just I've been working all day here, man. You got a job? There's no privacy in public, man. I guess everyone kind of That's why they record us. Can't be seen in dark sunglasses. My mask off, bro. Humpty and Dumpty. He's, That's what he's, the he's wearing right. sunglasses. Yeah, <laughs> he's talking about people's wearing sunglasses. I'm not trying to record nobody. I'm not trying to be undercover. My name is Chris Burwell. How about that? All right, there you Chris go, Burwell. Brother. Jag off. I ain't your brother, shithead. All right, Chris. Calm down. I am not your brother. You ain't seen me not calm, partner. Believe me. Calm down, Chris. Different. Calm Tell down. Tell me to calm down. You don't calm down. Like don't get in my space, Chris. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's getting violent. Uh, You're a dick. Don't so get in my space, Chris. Dick. D-I-C-K. That's you. Yeah, that's your freedom of speech, Chris. I enjoy it. A lot of people fight. Brave people fight and die for it. Even if they didn't die, they got injuries, etc. Yeah, apparently. The, the line's back there. The line's back there. Ma'am, the line's back there. You're a sicko. You're the one thinking about it, not me. I see a sicko. Do something about it then. You want to do something or what? Do you want to? Is that a challenge? It seems like you got your hands clenched like you're ready to do something. We're just minding our own business. Huh? You're the one that's getting in our business. Why don't you just stick, stick your own business? Just, your own business. just calm down, Chris. It's not that big a deal, man. It's, Come on, Chris. Man. Chris, it's really not that big a deal, man. Let us do our business. Mind your own business. Come on, man. We're not around that old cool like you. We're not all fucking bootlickers. I'm a veteran. So you're a veteran that fought for our rights, but yet you don't want us to exercise our rights that you fought for. Normally, I would say thank you for fighting for our country, but I'm wondering what side you fought for. Probably fought for uh, what? North Korea, Russia. Who did you fight for? Who did you write? Who did you fight for? I'm a former Marine, dude. You got no idea. I appreciate that. If if you were on our side. I said, we don't need people that exercise. We don't need people that exercise your First Amendment. So if you don't like if you don't like someone's rights, don't have a battle with an unarmed person, right? Unreal, guys. Says he's a veteran, which I appreciate, but he doesn't think we should have our First Amendment. I much respect to all the men and women who fought and sacrificed for the rights we're exercising, but this is how he acts. He what has no uh, no people skills. He likes to insult them. Doesn't know what we're doing. This likes to get in our business. Chris, Chris, Chris. <sighs> Just trying to buy a stamp, work on our story, and Chris thinks we shouldn't be allowed to do that. So, so John's over here telling Javier the police should be here shortly. Trying to have Javier hang out. <laughs> but if you remember, Javier was the one escalating, shouting across from the line, uh, flipping people off, calling them names. Uh, we came in here peacefully recording. You know, it's under the general guidelines and rules of the post office, poster 7, that uh, recording for news purposes is allowed. Uh, same reason they have cameras up there, they're allowed to record in this public space. You know, what's a couple extra cameras? And the main fire started them all is the lady working on the left over there, uh, caused a huge disruption, screaming out, are you recording, etc, etc. And then John decided to tag along. You calling another man to do your job, Javier? Now, I'm so sorry for the this 
Now, John, I don't want you thinking. I don't want you thinking you can't be recorded, all right, John? Now, the next customer line, please. I'd like to receive so I can give you a great review. Did you have any permission to film me? We did. Did you ask me? We no, did. you didn't. Okay. All right, thank you. And you came in unannounced and started John. filming. John. Have a good day. Please take our short survey. Oh, I definitely will. Please step aside. I need to take the next customer. Let me grab my receipt. Relax. Let's go. 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 Let
Nah, nah, nah. Javier, he's just wandering about the parking lot. I don't think he has a family to go home to. He'd rather just hang out here in the parking lot. We got Chris here. Might be on the phone with the police department. I'm gonna take off before the cops get here. Usually they have a long uh, response time. So I'm just gonna take off real quick. Burwell. Chris, Chris Burwell. No, I'm just walking, walking out of here. Big more ammo fuck, Ray. That was earned. Huh? What's that? Marine Corps emblem. It was earned, fuck brain. What Marine Oh, what Marine Corps emblem? Fucking pushing me. I'm not pushing you. I told you I was walking away and you started yelling. I couldn't hear what you said. You get a picture of a Marine underneath the Star Spangled Banner, but he doesn't respect the rights that, you know, he fought for. Specifically, First Amendment of the Constitution. Get away from me. Why don't we start Get the fuck away from me. Why don't we start Get the fuck away from me. As you can see. Get the fuck away from me. You're pissing me off, son. I'm over a couple of spots away. I'm actually right here. I'm not anywhere near this guy. There's the one reaching on the pouch, bitch. All right, guys, so you saw Chris, uh, he was getting pretty pumped up. I don't want to cause an incident. It looked like he was reaching for something on his trunk. I don't want to get shot. <laughs> uh, so we just walked around this corner here, but I believe the PD is coming because they keep uh, talking on the phone. Javier is out there waiting, like he's waiting for the you PD. Notice, uh, the guy out there, uh, Javier, whoever he was, that guy, uh, yeah. he didn't start flipping us off once he was outside. Yeah. So, uh, Chris had his wheels turned this way. I think he was going to try and follow us. Again, we tried to uh, get a little distance. He seems to be following us. Uh, yeah, I'm not trying to stay right here in that alley. Especially him reaching in the trunk. Let's get back to the front of the building. Where some post office cameras are. So, at this point, like I said, we were trying to get away, but now you know, he got in his car, he was gonna go follow us down there. Pretty ridiculous. You got Javier over here waiting for the cops like a little puppy dog. Uh, waiting to go uh, be a snitch for something we're perfectly legal to do. I believe Chris is doing the same thing, waiting to talk to the police. He's a snitch too. So guys, it's about 521. Uh, you can see Javier and Chris still waiting out there. So obviously they got nothing better to do. I think they're making dinner plans for later tonight. Uh, go hold each other's hands. Talk about the scary cameraman. Uh, We got Chris coming over here. Uh, he's trying to follow us for some reason. You know, we're trying to get get a little separation. He keeps kind of getting closer. But, 
see the flag coming down. Yeah. Guys, we have Chris right there. Uh, you can see he just came up. He's trying to follow us. He's trying to follow us. He's trying to feel threatened. Here we go. Here's Chris. There he is. Parking next to the construction building. Chris over here trying to follow us. So, oh, you're lovely motherfucker. Reporting you to the police department, Chris. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Okay, thank you. Reporting All you. Right. Reckless yeah. driving, man. Alright. Facebook. Enjoy flag. your ticket. Flick and flag. Enjoy your ticket. Sorry, Adam. Thanks for being space, for Russia for us. Enjoy oh, your bubble, ticket, Chris. Enjoy your ticket, Chris. He's parked on the wrong side of the road now. I am a in a fire lane. So, the post office where people come at the end of the day to get their Enjoy mail, your ticket, Chris. Business, you may even get kids, criminal charges. And you two lops got nothing better to do. Might not even just do. be a traffic infraction, Chris. Well, you two got nothing better to do than to film people and be jag offs and two women that are working. Government employees and that, right? Huh? And then what are you reaching your fucking point? Where are we gonna end this? Look at that! I don't fuck! Look at that! Oh, that's what I mean. That's what I thought. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey! There we are! Ha <laughs> ha! My boy! Come on, Sergeant Myers. Chris, you're gonna get in trouble right now when we show them the tape. You don't know who I am, dude. Who are you? You, you already are. said your name. You, don't know who I you, am. you think maybe because you're an ex-cop or ex-military, you're gonna you could just do whatever you want? I didn't walk in front of nobody. It doesn't work that way, Chris. Definitely does not work that way. That's it. First he said he was a he, first he said he was a marine. Now it's the army. His story keeps changing. My father was in the army. I'm a former marine. I don't go to post office. Right here. Threatening us to run us over. That's a deadly weapon. As you can see, officer, he's parked in the fire zone still, the wrong direction. He came right through here and was acting like he was going to run us over. Accelerated. It's all on camera. Okay. Sir, we'll talk to you over here. Gentlemen, I'll be right back. I'll talk to you over here. Right? Give him the opportunity to give his side of the story as well. Uh, the camera doesn't lie. Remember that more. I understand. I'm wearing a body cam as well. Keep it rolling. I'm going to be speaking with Nick after this. I got a cell phone. We just reported, a, cr we just reported, we just reported a crime to you. Don't do anything that, you know, represent your business. We just reported a crime to you, all right? from over here speeding right at us pretending he was going to run us over. Actually, in the right to be able to record in a public space like that. And 
and again, I understand some people don't like it, they don't want to be recorded, but your expectation of privacy in a public space, that being a government building in a public area, in a public space, yeah, you have no expectation of privacy. And, and I understand that. And more, we right? tried to walk away, but he was following us. We were trying to de-escalate, but he was following us. Okay. And he came and looked at the face in the wrong direction, tried to scare us, and almost came up to the curb hitting us. That's, that's using his vehicle as a deadly weapon, potentially deadly weapon. That's illegal. And he's parked in the red right now. And we have walked around the corner to get away from him because he was getting he was a angry, and, and he followed us around the other corner. I, I understand. If he's like, willing to apologize, I won't press charges, but it's up to him. If he's mad enough to apologize, I'll leave it at that. And I wouldn't trust him with his hands in his pockets. He's been acting very hostile. We don't know what he has in it. He also has his hands in his pockets. I don't know if he has a weapon or... We're looking out for officer safety here. Look at the skid marks on the ground. When he came, he was over here. He backed up. I can show you the video if you'd like to see it. There's no way you could explain that, Chris. It's all a video. There's also cameras across the street watching what he was doing right up there. You heard him. Stay there. We don't want any trouble, Chris. But you're recording the time. Well, I, I, if he's willing to apologize, what's up to him? Is he willing to apologize? I did not. I... I haven't asked that question yet. And before I report, let me give me this hypothetical human okay. for a second. Okay. Let's just say he was talking right over there where that sign is, by the chain link fence. Yep. And I was standing right about over here. From that point to here, I don't know how fast the car is back in the place. He's actually looking. He ran to the full speed, probably going 40 something miles an hour, and he slammed on his brake, right about over there. We were walking away. He started following us. I went, what did he do? But that's what he backed right over here. So he's not only in the red, but to me, aiming your vehicle at someone and then accelerating at like 30, 40, 50 miles an hour, slamming on your brakes, if you would have accidentally slipped off the brake, you would have hit the curb, you would have ran me over, I would have been gone. Yeah. And I, like I said, I could agree that it we hypothetically to, could have happened. Yes. We were trying to de escalate, we were walking away, but he's the one that insisted on following us going around. We tried to de escalate. So at that point, so keeping that knowledge, if, if someone is deliberately aims their vehicle at you and then accelerates, would that be considered a crime? If you think it is, I'm willing to press charges. And I'll give you all my info. Could it be? Yes. Intent is going to be what has to be determined, right? What was the intent of it? Let me ask you this. At this point, if you say he's breaking the law by going against traffic and parking oh, in front of a red? He's, he's parked in a red zone against traffic. I will give you that. Is can that a violation? Can we give him a ticket? That could be a ticket, yes. Can we do that? We could do that. I'd like to see if you can give him a ticket. I'd appreciate it. I'll well, that. I mean, on, on this sole basis, yes. It would be a parking ticket. I yeah, didn't see the I'm moving willing, violation. I'm... Now, understand the difference between a moving violation and a parking violation. Oh, different. I have to I have to see the action at the time. Well, you can see but it. You for can where see it, it is parked, that is a parking ticket. That could possibly be criminal charge. A uh, vehicle is a deadly weapon. When he yeah. accelerates and comes into the other lane directly at us, when we've had interactions with him before where he's threatening to fight us, so, there's, his intent is there what already. You want to do? a parking ticket and you educated him, I'm happy with that. I think that'll be lesson learned. I don't want to make it worse than you know, I don't want to, you know, I'm sure he has a family to go to even though he's giving us a hard time. I'm going to ask for an apology or else I'm pressing charges. So, Chris, I you want to apologize for what you just did? Not, I got to show him the video and we got you're going to have to go to court. Your whole intent about following us around the corner. You want to, you want to go ahead and show him the video. Can you hold this for me? Yeah. You said I left Skidmore. Show him the Skidmore. I'm not down with like someone I, threatening I, my life like, like that. I, said, I, I, I hear you there, right? As I, as I explained to him, and I will explain to the postal employees, right? It's a government building, right? You have every right to record in a government yeah, building. Yeah, I know, I know my rights. I'm pretty I, well aware of what I'm but, doing but, here. But what I'm saying is the initial call for service here prior to this, why, why we... Well, you're, you're about to see video of what, what happened, right, so officer. Know, so, so. I'm going to show you this. But what I'm but what I'm what I'm telling you is we initially were coming here anyway because there were people concerned about recording in there. Well, and you, know, I, you heard me. Explain you got to be able to adapt. This is a crime that's happening. No, no, I understand. Okay. And I'm not saying I'm not adapting. Right. right? So I'm just explaining to you why initially we were here. I'm gonna turn it up as best I can. It might be hard to hear, but you can see we're just over here. You can see that's this car right there. Come 
mean, that seems like reckless driving minimum. Like, if he would have took off the gas, I mean, he would have hit that curb. He would have ran us over. Oh, look at that from right there. Yes. I mean, and again, that was after we were trying to walk away, after we were trying to de-escalate, and he's following us. So, what was your guys' interaction prior to that? So, I was in there, piece of recording. I actually bought a stamp, have it in here with the receipt. And John over there started escalating and started yelling, creating a, he said, uh, starting a fire, something that didn't need to be started. Trip. His name's Javier. Javier, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Chris over here, he came in, he was behind us. We weren't even recording him, but he heard all the commotion. He was like two people behind. He just started yelling and mumbling at us, and we tried to de-escalate a little. You know, we called him out, and like, hey, we're just recording. It's not your business. He, got he, he was actually, re like, looking like he wanted to fight us just yeah, because we were recording. Yeah, he out of his car. At one point, he approached me where I had to get on the, I almost tripped on that right there. I have it recorded, because he approached me, like, getting closer. Rather than me having to push him back or get physical, I took a step back and almost tripped on that. And then he was saying, oh, I'm reaching into my bag. Yeah, I'm reaching into my bag because I was going to show him I have a copy of it. So I had the phone switch. But I, I have a copy of the rules and regulations governing conduct on coastal property. I was going to show it to him if he wanted to be educated. And then even moments right before you guys arrived, after he did this, he jumped out of the car and approached him and got in his face like he, he was going to fight him. He's yeah, talking about, I'm a Marine and all this. I'm an old guy. I got a, a bad back. I'm not looking to fight someone. I'm not going to let him you know, push me around either. But. And yes, you got my name right before. I mean, you can talk to your chief. I've actually did it right along with him. He knows who I, I am. He knows I understand. I'm I've, I've talked to you in our, I've talked to you yeah. in our back parking lot. I try to be cordial and respectful like that. to people, but when they come up, you know, harassing us, following us, bang, that's almost like stalking. I mean, do I need to put a restraining order on him? I mean, what do I need to do? I mean, that seems like, you know, he's following. He's going out of his way, following us. So I'm trying to walk. Yeah. You know, I have a bad back. I was going to walk around the block just to, you know, get back to my vehicle, which is like three blocks that way. But over yeah. there, no, I mean, that doesn't seem right. And well, again, right now, yeah. at this point, though, he's. If you're witnessing him on the wrong side of the road, in a red, I hope you're going to do us right. And so, I know it's officer's discretion, but you, you're witnessing it right now. I'd like I to see him get a ticket. So, here's here's where I'm going to go back to, right? You guys have an interaction there. I know, right? You guys are trying so gonna, to educate. You're going to justify it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining where I'm at and what your options are. I'm not the victim, Okay. right? You gentlemen are could be... Good. Could be considered a victim, right? So I'm just going to explain where I'm at and leave you to make Real the quick. decision. Would you uh, let John know that we're okay to record? Uh, I'll let him know that people are in public, they have no expectation of privacy. So. We're recording peacefully. He was the one that was actually, he's the one that actually was instigating everything. Yeah, he started he flipping yeah, us off, calling us in the public. They start freaking out. I'm sure you guys know, but they got to understand. Like yeah. I explained to him that once you're in public, we actually had a few, two or three cordial interactions where people were asking us questions and they approach us cordially and respectful. They're just inquiring we're, about what was going on. Not always, but we're potentially open to, to discussion. Yeah. But we well, start yelling at us and cussing at us. That's the ultimate goal, right? It's the education. People yeah, we had one guy that was flipping educated. us off. This guy was calling so, us names. And, and I, like he's a little kid, man. Those, those are reactions you might get, but... I, I, that's what I was going to say. And he talks about how he's in the military, but yeah, he's trying to violate our rights. Like, did he fight for North Korea, Russia? Who did he fight for? Well, I don't think everybody understands what their rights are. It's the First are. Amendment. It's not the Second or Third. It's the First Foreign Amendment, and he doesn't know it. Or he doesn't the like military it. military got your amendments. Or he just don't like it. So. I walk into a lobby, and people are upset because you two clowns are filming them. And I'm upset because I'm you're harassing stop. us. I'm, okay. I'm you upset. Quit being a dick to I'm upset. And people in there. That's what okay. the military just, taught you, me. You, you swore an oath to uphold the, the Constitution so of the United States. If I don't like your t-shirt, do I have a right to tell you to take it off? Around, one one woman okay, came in okay. after. Come on, man, you're a punk. So. Calling mom and daddy to come protect you. I'm gonna breathe. Yeah, breathe in, breathe out. Come on, man. Away, that boy. Now you're not one to talk, brother. Come on. So it is up Sorry. to you if you want to pursue a charge. If you're like, hey, I want you to educate him, give him a parking ticket, and I'm good with it. I'm good with that's, that if that's, that's what you're willing to do. I can't speak for him, but that's what I'm willing to do. I'm good with it. Even if, I'd like him to apologize. I'd like to be the better man. I'd even shake his hand if he, if he sincerely meant to me. You know what? I just had a bad day. My, my wife just passed away or something like that. You know, I was in a bad mood, whatever. Or if you really truly thought we were some type of domestic terrorist with the cameras, I'm open to that. But if he's not, I'd like to see you just educate him. Hey, he has what you did. You already did your job. I appreciate it. You know, I heard you say, you know, hey, we have a right to record. You didn't use that uh, that, that phrase where, unfortunately, we can't violate his rights. You seem sincere. Oh, I've heard that before yeah, where officers will come up, unfortunately, we can't violate their rights like it's, if they want to, you know. Uh, 
your department overall have had nothing but great experiences. Well, and I think, side note, you guys have helped educate departments, ours being one of them. I know some of our interactions in the past with some of some of our staff have not been the best, right? But through that education. I know you had one guy, uh, I don't want to mention names, I know you had one guy, uh, I don't know, earlier in the year that I was suspended for some foul activities. Right. We've been educated, right? As we should be, right? Everybody should learn. So, so at this point, moving forward, are you willing to give him an educate him and give him a yeah. ticket for this? Going now. If yeah. you want to do that, I'm we'll leave it at that. Sir, you, you're I'll the other party here. I can't say him, but. Uh, he, as he said, he can't speak for you. I mean, uh, I don't know if he's really learned. He's still... Well, he's he's got to understand that that, right. that that is very dangerous, speeding a car at someone, uh, the way he accelerated from that curb. How's he going to learn? When he's uh, with a pocket book, he'll learn. And slamming on the brakes like that. Like he's going to pull a weapon out right. here. That's what we walk around. I don't know if he has a gun or, you know, he said he's a military, you know, veteran. You know, what if there was, you know, a mom and the, the baby walking like this next to us and he had, he'd swerved didn't he's see them because he was focusing on us phone, ended up hitting them like that's just plain old reckless driving so sir i have to ask you because you're a second party here that could well what i would ask like you that. is that you saw would you say that what was on that video was reckless driving i think that right. would be a more appropriate really ticket not just a parking ticket like if you do want to pursue that that's up to you but minimum parking against traffic and a red that's a violation right there yes and if you give me an email, I could send you the clip of the reckless driving. That way, it, it could be posted into evidence for the case. People are watching. I know. Do it right. It's okay. Take oh, your time. No, Do it I, right. I, I don't want to. If you want to call the chief and ask advice. No, I'm not going to call the chief and ask advice. When it comes to the reckless driving, I can see it in the video. The part that is going to have to be there is when that goes to court are you willing to go to court on your behalf as the person standing here saying hey i i believe it was reckless this is why i wasn't here i wasn't present to see the action other than through video right so you as the person being here would have to also be willing potentially to go to court and say yes i was there this is exactly what i observed right here's the video right we showed mm -hmm. the officer but I was present, I was here, this is what I saw. So, I have to ask you that. If I were to go to court, I would want more serious charges than reckless driving. The way he used that deadly vehicle to drive across the lanes, and... Let me ask you this, if you guys were parked right there and you saw the video, and let's just say you were in there taking a break or just, you know, doing a report, and you saw saw me over there parked, and I just aimed my car for someone against traffic and slammed on the brakes, you heard the skid marks, he probably would have been pulling me over. I'd probably either possibly be in handcuffs for reckless driving or having the car towed. I'm not saying for sure. It's your discretion. But I'm saying that's probably what would have happened. An investigation would definitely do. Yeah, fire. exactly. What's yeah. going on? Well, I've, have I been drinking or driving? Did you check him for to see if he's been drinking? I mean, that's, that's a sign of someone potentially impaired or Could be. getting that agitated. He might be on, maybe he's on medication. Maybe, you know, I well, I, I think in, in this case, as you said, right, based on everything you have told me, based on what he's told me, He's upset about the fact that he didn't fully understand what was going on in there, right? And people are the upset because they're being recorded. recording him, though. He was behind me, I know. and he started, you know, yapping away, and then eventually I'm like, okay, what's going on here? And so I, I think the not having, not fully understanding what's going on, right? With there sure signs of, sure signs of potential impaired driving, though. There, yes. Potentially. Potentially. I mean, you which might could, want, I don't know which you, could be investigated. Are you guys? I'm just curious. I know you guys have to have a, you guys have to have a particular officer that's trained in that to do the field sobrieties. Or um, I don't know. I can't speak for Officer Viacana. Yes, I'm trained for field sobriety, drug identification. To the best, I mean, he's wearing glasses, but to the best of your knowledge, basically moving around all crazy and driving. He's upset. He could be possibly right. having a mental in, in, episode. In to Maybe need to go to the hospital. Obvious odor of alcohol. There wasn't slurring speech. Was good, it, though, there wasn't any. There wasn't some of the common signs that you would see with somebody who's impaired. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, think he's, I think he's definitely angry. Yeah, he looks angry. I'll agree with you on that. So, I come back to you because we never actually answered the question. About going to court? Yes. I mean, I'd be fine with you writing him a ticket, but if he's going to get off scot-free, yes, I'll go to court. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, he's already asked for a minimum of a parking ticket. So he's not getting off scot-free because he's not leaving here without something. He'll have a, good, a nice little memory of it. Right. So he's not getting off scot-free. Uh, what kind of parking ticket will it be in the fire lane? It is. Would it possibly be reckless driving as well or no? On the, on the fire lane on the wrong side of lane and a, at a lane of traffic he parked? It's a red zone and 
facing the wrong direction of traffic. It's not a fire lane, but two it's a red zone. Two separate, two separate tickets. Gotcha. And he's actually parked in the where traffic flows well, as yeah, well. So it's, it's, it's parked. Traffic, it's, maybe? it's parked. It's, it's parked against traffic, right? Facing the wrong direction. More parking than in front of the construction zone that says no parking. I don't know if that's actually that's for that side of the road. Right? Gotcha. It's two tickets. Parking in a red zone, and more than it's more than 18 inches from the curb. The right side of your car has to be within the gutter, which is 18 inches. I think we could go with that. Willing, willing to apologize? Last chance. If you want, I will go talk to him to see if he's willing to apologize. He's willing to ask him. He has to be sincere, though. If he's really not sincere, there's no point. I'll take any apology if he's willing to give it. Okay. Let me let me go talk to him. I know it's out of your hands. You're just a mediator. Sometimes the first step is just saying the words, you know what I mean? And then maybe he'll reflect upon it later. Personally, we're not trying to give them a hard time. Or, you know, I don't want to see him get hemmed up, but he can't be doing that. I'd like to know if someone else came out. Here I mean, I got a, I got a wife and kids. I, I'm not trying to get run over for recording in the post office. Like I said, if this foot would have slipped off that, I mean, and he did it, but, but like he, yes, I, I agree that, I, that that's on me. I mean, I agree deal. that that is a possibility. Big deal, but my wife, my daughter, you know, my my two cats. I love cats, man. They would go crazy looking for me. So yeah, okay. talk to him. Let, let, let me go talk to him. Upsetting a couple of the uh, customers or patients in there, and a couple of them, I don't know if they verbalized to you that they didn't want to be recorded yeah. or something like that. You know, it's always interesting. I try to tell people, I've told the chief this before when we had a, did a ride along. Mm -hmm. and I try to tell people, you don't always have to like or even agree with why someone's doing something, but if they're not really hurting you or, you know, yeah. leave them alone. I mean, I, it would be different if I was following them, putting the camera in their face, going like this. Like in their personal space, yeah, like what you're within, doing. You know, within arm's reach, yeah. you know. Um, or if I was going to try to record their credit card, that'd be criminal intent. That might be, you know, used for, you know, fraudulent transactions yeah. or something like that. And you'll see in the video when it comes out that it was the uh, po the postal employees were the ones who, the, the ones who actually verbalized, don't record me, and then it spread to, started with that lady, I forget her name, and then John. Yeah, I have no, I have no doubt that you guys were. And then, and then the customers kind of caught a fire with the customers, you know? Yeah, but. people get very upset sometimes over this type of stuff. They just, they just don't understand. Like I said earlier, when you're public, like you have no expectations. You got a camera watching us right now. I'm sure you guys will review it later on. There's cameras that they're watching us. They have a camera going around the building on the inside of the sky. Yeah. So, I don't think there's any in today's day and age, I mean, what you guys like to say. In today's day and age, I don't think there's anywhere we can go where we're not recording. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it right here. There, there might have been. Yeah. Any call number? So we have something to fill it to try to uh, get that body cam footage. Sure. So that's the primary officer, Officer Moore, and that's my information there, uh, my email, and that's the number to the PD. Perfect. As for the case number, which you might be pulling. That's what I'm talking about, right? the key phone. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, you know, it's sad to see stuff go down this way. You know, we're out there peacefully recording. We tried to walk away. We tried to de our best to de-escalate. Oh, well, no case on Unfortunately, he was, you know, falling at us with his car, you know, high speed. You know, very dangerous. several calls to Seaside PD. They took a long time to get here. This is a professional department. So yeah, I know, I know I'm, uh, can I speak? Yeah. You know what? I don't want to, I don't want at this point, just, I just, just clear okay. him out, please. You can speak he, to me, man. Go ahead. We had a conversation. The tone in his voice, I'm not happy. I'd like you to decide him to take it then. I'm done. Yes, can you decide him to take it? Can you stand by with him for sure. a second? Perfect. I know I was interrupting guys, but you know, he still has his attitude, man. He doesn't mean it. He's still on my phone. 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 He's still on
keep in mind, guys, we're not in control if he gets a ticket. I'd like him to get a ticket. But I don't really want him to do He has some discretion to do it or not. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. It'll work it. Tell me about a retirement vehicle. But, took so long and I couldn't get upset because I, I knew, I felt bad because of the fact you guys were taking long, you had something else going on. You guys are very efficient and I hate taking up your time. Oh, no. You guys are great. My dad retired from the show. I come from a cop family and a military family. A lot of, a lot of respect for law enforcement. For those that serve others. Respect for law enforcement, that's um, not our rights. So, sorry guys. Um, you, got you, got you, got to to you got better things to do. Maybe next time don't break the law. real crime. Why don't you say serious crime? I'm sure we'll take it to court now. We'll probably dismiss it. Who knows? It's a video called Warriors Fight Song. The Marine Corps birthday is 10 November. Every 10 November, Marines play that song. And it ends, shows us kicking ass and taking names like we've done since 1776. At the very end is a drill instructor, Latino guy. And he's sitting there and they're asking him, was it worth it? He says, yeah, I was a part of something bigger than myself. You know what, Chris? We don't you need all that bullshit. I'm a veteran myself. Losers. I'm a combat veteran losers. myself, all right? You. Recon. Yeah, I don't need to hear all that out. bullshit. Recon. What were you, a fucking desk jockey? United States Marine Corps shithead. Fucking little Apple desk jockey. Iraq. I did recon. Just, it's not worth it. Don't fucking right. come with all that bravado, you fucking dumb you asshole. Follow the you fucking law. The army. You, you're like J.D. Vance. You got the title, but you ain't shit. Shut the fuck up. If you did, you Be a part of something bigger than yourself. This guy is a fucking Care about idiot. women. Care about people that can't help themselves. Maybe don't run up, try to run people over either. If I ever wanted, I, I, I wouldn't use my car, partner. What would you use? What you use? You, you go hand to hand, partner. You're you going to need a lot more hand to hand with me. Nothing from you. Sir, I tried to thank Nothing. you for your service over there. You started yelling at me and cussing at me. Come and terrorize women and kids and people working. Well, You're trying to work. Women or kids that it's the end of the day. Me. People got to get up and go to work tomorrow, go home and cook dinner. Look at you two losers. Not everyone's a winner like you. Fucking losers. Not Says the loser getting a ticket for trying to run people, <laughs> people over. This guy's pissed. Well, I truly hope he has a better day, guys. I do, like I said, I want to thank anyone who served for our country. I truly appreciate it. But if it wasn't for the rights that they fought for and sacrificed for, we wouldn't have these rights. So it seems like he only wants us to exercise rights when he agrees with it. I mean, can you imagine if I went up to him and said, hey, because of the color of your skin or the color of your t-shirt, or free speech, or freedom of religion, which is one of the five elements of the First Amendment, hey, you're not allowed to use it? Come on, man. Maybe you can take it to court, get it, uh, get it removed. That's up to him to, you know, we'll battle it out with the court system. Not only you can't use your vehicle, you can't get it out of the court system. If you hear from his attitude, he's done. He didn't learn shit. He's gonna go do this shit fucking tomorrow if the same incident happens. trying to de-escalate right now. I truly appreciate it. So at this point, we're good to go, I guess. I just, if you can give me a card with the incident number, I think you said that you're uh, off of, you know, the uh, person to respond. Get the incident number. And was your body cam on the whole time? It is still on. All right, thank you. Perfect. You look at the bottom, it's actually recording. Still. Right. Excellent. Center six link in to put four. Can I get the last one that master engine?
well? No, I just I just recorded it. Is that incident number as far as that for the case? Yes. Perfect. I appreciate your time. Anything I hope you do right, it. Thank you. I appreciate you, man, trying to de escalate. Yeah. I appreciate you, man. You guys are both very cordial and respectful. I appreciate it. It's a big difference in your department versus yeah. a lot of other departments we've been to in the past. Uh, say hi to Nick for me. Uh, other than that, though, I'm going to say this in a respectful way. You guys are dismissed. All right, one quick question. How do you like the Tesla? Since it's not built to be a police car, <laughs> too, too small or what? It's just wasn't designed for a police car, so it's designed as a family comfort car. Yeah. Um, you think they're going to switch over, like he was just saying, like over in South and was it Pasadena? You said? Pasadena I maybe if Tesla would be willing to go towards that road. So the reason that I say it do it doesn't really work with a police car, the seat forms very nicely to you yeah. when you are not wearing all of this. Um, wearing all this, the seat doesn't wrap correctly, uh, right? So I have this undo, like push forward in my shoulders. Are you guys able to, to customize uh, yeah. the seats, or would that mess up like all the technology? I don't know. I don't now. know. Yeah, it might be where Ford designs that car. That Ford is specifically designed as a police car, so they went to police agencies and said, "What is it you want?" The seats are very flat, so that we fit in them very comfortably. Were you guys required to switch over? Or was it just like 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 the city manager, or which is that like, was yeah, former chief Abdul Pridgen oh, okay. wanted to look at going towards a more greener option. So is this more like an experiment to see how you it, guys it, like it? Yeah, I think it was at the time is a more green option to be more environmental I think you have like friendly. Like two or three of them or two. Two? Yeah. Um, it, I think it when we did it how long ago was that? Three years, four years? <laughs> Maybe four years ago. I there were still very few. We yeah. were probably numbered like within the first like two dozen. Now what about like updates? Are you guys getting any issues like with updates and like them not working all of a sudden or for the for Tesla side, no. I mean, it's updated like every other Tesla is. Um, I think since then, there's been changes in like maybe maybe even with Tesla. I mean, we haven't gone back and said, hey, we want to get a, yeah. get another one. But like for South Pasadena to have done their whole fleet, they must have been able to do something or work something out with Tesla gears to design that to be more conducive to a police car. At the time we did this, like I said, there was probably no more than two dozen in the entire nation. Gotcha. And what about all the equipment that powers in there, like your like screens and all that? So, you just keep it on, or yeah, so it's a little it's doing... a little harder because it's limited in its battery capacity, and it's all high voltage. All the motors run high voltage, so you have to convert high voltage back to twelve volt. Regular car, it's easy. Your alternator does that for you naturally. Yeah, I, I think with these cars, it's like the opposite. Like the slower you go through town, the more it charges your battery. But then, like when you're on the freeway, it's less efficient. It's very less efficient. Yeah. Um, just the way, like the whole, like the axle. Yeah. Like, I think they charge the batteries as we like. Something it's like slowing. Here. Yeah. You're slowing down. Regenerative braking. Yeah. When you're just, braking, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. So if you're not braking, it's you're just sucking power. The lights pull power off of it. So everything is drawing power with nothing going back in. Right. Where the regular car alternator keeps going. So you do have a finite time frame. Gotcha. So last thing. Uh, so the, the gentleman that you got did the citation. Which is, of course, like you said, you have discretion of your own free will. Like, hopefully, I mean, I, I truly wish him the best. If you ever see him again, I wish him no harm. If he wants to go to court and fight it, and a judge sees it fit to dismiss it, you know, I, I, I got no issues with it. But you can see from his demeanor, man, he was, you know, I, I feel bad because maybe he has issues, you know. Yeah, like, and I think I think it's lack of education, and that's what I was trying to instill him to. Hey, there's, I understand, right? And and most people, I, I would say most people don't have an understanding of the Constitution and understand their true, what their true rights are. They know that freedom of speech, right? They know they know the core basic, this is what I was taught in grade school and there's nothing more. And I'll, the public like school system is not the best at educating yeah. people with that stuff, right? It's covered very basically. I'm an old guy, I just know like growing up, if someone had a, a, a video recorder the size of a shoebox, you try to jump in front of it, be like, you know, even friend to give him the bird as a kid, you know, or yeah. hey, Pam, mom, how are you doing? Nowadays, someone sees a camera, they freak out, it seems like. Which, there's cameras everywhere now, exactly. right? And, and that, ones that was us. that was going to be my, my first explanation coming in there. Is it's no different for me stepping in there with a body cam, yeah. right? I'm the, and I'm the government, yeah. right? So I'm actually more limited because if this was a private business, right? There is an expectation of privacy behind closed you know, doors. Going back to that, I mean, I know you guys are here now. If there's actually a local crime committed, but being that this is federal property, you guys even have jurisdiction for to enforce like federal rules or laws that they're saying we're not allowed to do it. 
because usually the federal PD will come out. I know, but they, they're not, they're spread out thin. Though. Yes, they are. So it would be the U.S. Postal Police. Yes. Um, which are based in San Jose. There's yeah. one investigator for a large area. Large. So there is a MOU, from what I understand, with all the where the post offices are, that for those sort of crimes that fights. Um, you know, parking, things like that, that we can come in and enforce that. Now, if you're dealing with stealing mail or breaking into, um, I don't know if they're private mailboxes in here, if they're considered private mailboxes or PO boxes, uh, it depends you sometimes. Still yours. Um, that is a federal crime. So that, we would do an initial investigation, essentially to help them out, say, take the initial... You see someone, you're not going to just roll by and say, oh, sorry, it's federal yeah. property. So we'll take all the initial information and do the limited investigation we can and then it goes to the postal police saying hey we took this courtesy report for you here's what we gathered and then they investigate further i would imagine if it was something major in the post office they would come here and they would do, assume the entire investigation yeah um, All right. but yeah, yes. hopefully john has a better day in there hopefully this gentleman has a better day again i think it's i don't hold grudges, people man, people but... don't aren't educated yeah there's some ed uneducated people but at the same time to escalate uh, something where you know the actions of someone that you may not agree with or you're not educated about that are peaceful and non-violent to escalate it to violence is, is a bad thing for the community it's a bad thing for society when someone brings violence into a situation where there is no violence involved yeah. so that, that was the main thing I was concerned about with that guy I almost tripped I got a bad back sciatic nerve issue bad shoulder you know I mean if I would have fell down I mean I could have hurt myself or call an ambulance to come get me possibly you know on there so, I mean, I don't appreciate him, you know, doing that. If I would have walked up to him doing that, which I would never do that, he would have he would have been pissed. Yeah, I'm sure being a veteran, he probably would have done some kind of move on me. He probably would have taken me out simply for doing what he was doing to me. You know, so, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, Gentlemen, have a good rest yeah, of your you evening. Too. Try and stay cool. Try. Right. Just cool down a little bit. <laughs> yes. It's very nice weather here. Now it is nice weather. It was a little warm earlier <laughs> and a little warm yesterday. All right, guys, so we're going to do what we call the drive of honor. So now this is drive of shame. These guys are going to get what we call the drive of honor. Good afternoon. All right, you good evening at this point. There you have it, guys. Seaside PD. The comments what you think. I wonder if that lobby's closed now, huh? Yeah. <laughs>